guys, Edog Plays here, bringing you guys another video. Today is going to be Top Titans 2, part 385. I hope you all are having an absolutely fabulous day. Today is going to be the tournament join day. As you can see, it starts in about a minute and 20 seconds, and, and I'm going to be joining basically as soon as it starts here. Um, if we go ahead and take a look here, it is the hero weapon tournament, so obviously a very, very important one. This is going to help you, you know, put, hero weapons are a great way to help push. You know, skill points and perks are obviously nice uh, to go and increase your build and stuff like that. And perks are so nice to have activated during other tournaments. And the crafting shows are obviously amazing to go and craft other equipment pieces and stuff like that, finish sets. But the hero weapons is a huge way to go and help push. If you take a look at any of the, uh, or a lot, most of the people that are at max stage have an absolute ton of hero weapons. So keep that in mind when you're playing these tournaments. I would say say arguably uh that the, the hero weapons tournament are probably the most important ones to go ahead and win so uh with that being in mind i'm gonna try my best here i don't know how much time i'm gonna have to play again but we'll just see what happens if we take a look at the bissell tournament rewards i got 22 th or 20 second place here we we're quite a ways away from this guy that's what I, I saw that when i was pushing and i only played for like a five minutes after i recorded yesterday's video and i did want to apologize i noticed that my capture card completely froze um i basically just walked you guys through what i've kind of done so far in the uh in the abyssal tournament it wasn't much i think there was two more video two minutes left in the video so i apologize for that i'm going to be start saving up for a new capture card because this one will constantly freezes um and i got to be paying attention over here to see if it freezes otherwise i'll go on t talking for like 10 20 minutes um and then it'll be frozen the entire time but we did get 100 diamonds, one skill point, three perks, and 10 abyssal tokens. Three perks is actually not bad, to be honest with you. If we can get, you know, make it rain or something like that, any of those uh, that I can use today. Adrenaline Rush, Mana Potion's not great, uh, but we did already pop an Adrenaline Rush, so that's nice. Uh, if we take a look here, I did a Adrenaline Rush and a Power of Swiping. Power of Swiping is just a nice kind of quality of life thing, just to be able to swipe over the fairies and stuff like that. And the um, Astral Awakening thing uh, is nice to do with the Power of Swiping as well, so that's nice. I haven't done Doom because I don't plan on pushing in this 24 hours. The first 24 hour, or first 12 hours, sorry, I typically just go ahead and farm as much as I can. And that's what I plan on doing right now, doing as many artifact optimizers as possible, Book of Shadows, all that stuff. Um, and the last 12 hours is going to be me, you know, pushing, so... That's kind of my plan for right now. But let's go ahead and join this abyssal or this uh, tournament right now. So if we take a look here, I already walked you through. This one is also 1.2, 1.5 times relics, which is insane. It's absolutely amazing. And it, you know, obviously would stack with this uh, Immaculate Airbitter. So now we're getting basically double the relics that we used to, you know, not too long ago. I mean, Immaculate Airbitter wasn't a thing. And, you know, this was a, such an awesome abyssal or such an awesome tournament bonus here was the 1.5 times relics. So now we're getting basically two times relics um, compared to a regular tournament that we had, you know, before the Immaculate Airbitter set, or if you don't have it, uh, which is just absolutely insane. Getting double the relics is just crazy. So we're going to go ahead and join this one here i think i actually i just barely passed my max stage because i think i got some raid xp there so uh that's good we got basically to our max stage here and let's go ahead and start farming here so we do have a pretty high book of shadows percentage so i probably will start off with an artifact optimizer um as soon as i'm done recording the video i think that's going to be probably the plan uh because book of Sh uh, you know what book of shadows is now 75 percent so that's pretty good to be honest with you 75 percent i don't typically get it up that high for these tournaments but you know what if i plan on playing a lot having a high book of shadows is great <clears throat> That's the thing, like, I don't really know how much I have to play this tournament until, the, you know, the end of it. Um, so when we go ahead and join the tournament, if you know you're going to have a lot of time to play, investing in a really high Book of Shadows percentage as soon as you join or even before you joined is typically a good idea because, you know, obviously by the end of it, if you played a lot, if you've done a lot of prestigious, it's going to be so low. Whereas if you can go and get it up or if you only get it up to like 60% or so, it's going to drop so much quicker. And at the end of it, you're, you're going to need to go and upgrade your Book of Shadows. So if you know you have a ton of time to play, invest in book of shadows right at the beginning of the tournament that's such a good idea if you don't probably you know smarter to go ahead and start investing in artifact optimizers a little bit more early but that's just kind of my opinion there if we take a look at the equipment pieces we are going to go ahead and craft the second piece of iron heart here um hopefully we get something decent we got the sword actually which one is this this is all hero damage so not something I'm going to be using as a Shadow Clone build, but we can go ahead and lock that one in so much better. 256 compared to 251, so a lot better than the Legendary one that we had, which is awesome. I love upgrading, whether it's, you know, something that I'm going to be using or not, upgrading it was amazing. We got a way better one now, so if I ever do a Clanchy build or something like that, then we always have it available to us, which is awesome. 
If we take a look at the artifacts here, we do have three more enchantments that we can go and do. And you know what? I feel like we're gonna go ahead and just open them all up for today's video. We're gonna go and enchant all of the new ones here. If we take a look, uh, we got Charm of the Ancients. So this is increasing our mage hero damage. Actually, I don't know. I'm assuming the rest of them now are gonna be uh, mage ranged and melee, but I, I'm not 100% sure. So we got the mage, we got the range, and we got the warrior, I guess they call it now. This is awesome. So we got all three of those now enchanted. I was gonna say, would it, be, it would've been a little weird if they didn't upgrade them all at once. You know, this, this update was range, the next one was mage, whatever the case may be, but I'm glad they did them all at once. So this is gonna be three pretty useful ones, I think. Uh, you know, I upgrade them a little bit. I think I do about... I think I'm, I do 1% on each, but I think I'm supposed to do 3% on the one that's my main hero. So if, you know, my main hero is mage, then I go ahead and I'm supposed to go and put 3% in mage. Um, same with ground and flying. So if I have a ground hero, I'm supposed to go and put 3% of my artifacts into the ground hero artifact. Um, so maybe these ones are going to be next, the ground and flying heroes. I could see that kind of, you know, correlating with this or being something that they may want to go ahead and, you know, enchant eventually. But for now, we got all of these ones here. Perfect. That is what I wanted to do. If we take a look at our dailies now, uh, we have one pet level here. Uh, day eight is going to be 50 diamonds. Obviously, no event going on at the moment. Uh, still waiting for that one to conclude. I believe the next event is going to start on Tuesday. So save your guys the rewards from this tournament uh, for Tuesday. I don't know for sure if it's starting Tuesday. I don't know for sure, but there's literally no harm in saving your rewards. As soon as the next tournament starts on Tuesday, if there's no event, you can go and claim your rewards and join the new tournament. There's no penalty for holding your rewards. So I would definitely recommend doing it because if you can get first place and start off off the event with 300 firestones that's going to give you a huge advantage we do we do need to go and collect equipment pieces and pet levels the pet levels one's going to be a little bit more difficult but we got all of the equipment pieces we need we did get a rare which is sword primary boost uh, which is actually getting close to the same as our you know our legendary one so that means that if we do get another legendary sword primary boost it's going to be so much better um, than the one that we currently have so keep an eye out for that um, if we take a look here at the pet quests, we can actually go and dispatch some, getting some really good ones, some legendary quests here. I don't think we'll have the pet levels we do. Okay, perfect. Getting a ton of XP from that. No, we have a, um, oh my goodness, we have a legendary plus one. There was no way that I was going to have enough pet levels for that. We only had 900, so that, that wouldn't have happened. If we take a look at Taffy, I don't even think we're going to be able to go ahead or send now actually we're pretty darn close but not quite there unfortunately so i'll have to go and reroll that one we have to reroll all three of these unfortunately giving us a couple pretty bad ones here actually gonna reroll all three again uh getting hammy with demos we can go and send them out violet with you know what let's go and send them out uh oh wow it doesn't even meet the requirements we can go and send them out with poly get a little bit more you know boss or uh, some all gold there and we can go and send out Taffy, getting him to level 202. That is what we like to see. If we take a look here at the shop as well, I hate when it does that. It says new every time, but I actually don't have anything. The video chest, I can't go and open up. I do remember in the very first video of this update, um, I did mention that there was no pricing or anything like that. So this is $6.99 for 3,000 dust, two scrolls, and 50 raid cards. And this one, Inspiring Clan, is $35. I think this is all USD. Oh, no, this is actually probably Canadian prices. Uh, yeah, this is definitely in ca Canadian prices because it's $140 there. Uh, but yes, yeah, so we do have the prices now for these. I don't know if I would... I mean, you're getting a lot of crafting shards and stuff like that, but... I don't know if this is worth $35. I don't know that. I mean, that's a lot of money for, you know, one equipment set plus 150 crafting shards. Because, uh, I mean, you always can wait till you get a drop and then go ahead and um, and then go ahead and use the diamonds to go ahead and finish them. Or you can go and buy them with crafting shards. There's a lot of different ways to finish a legendary set. I don't know if I'd go ahead and spend $35 doing it. But you also get 150 crafting shards as well. So maybe that's worth it for you guys. But for me personally, I definitely won't be buying that bundle. If we take a look at the raid right now, so we are on, I believe, yeah, so we're on cycle four at the moment, or sorry, five um, at the moment. So we're doing pretty good here. If we take a look at my damage, we are at 17 out of 20 raid attacks. If you guys do remember, we were at 3.75 or 3.85 million raid damage last video. I have only done one attack during the cycle, and that's a victory march. 
So we definitely have a lot more attacks, including my, you know, almost 6 million damage totem. We have a lot of really good attacks left to go ahead and do. But if we take a look, just dividing that by 17, we're sitting at a 3.82 at the moment. So a little bit less. But like I said, we got our totem to hit still, uh, which brings up our damage a lot. I think our void is even pretty close to that average. Um, and same with our thriving plague. I think, sorry, I think our thriving plague is pretty close to that damage. And I think our void is low 3, three million. So void, I think, is where we're losing or, you know, we're bringing down our average. But with the other hits, I think we're still bringing it up a little bit. In terms of shop, there's nothing that I really want here. I don't think I'm going to be prioritizing Victory March for right now. I think we're going to leave it with what it's at. I haven't been getting very good shop resets, to be honest with you guys. Nothing that I've really even wanted to buy at all. So that's a little disappointing, but we can go and collect all of our daily rewards here, getting all the clan morale in, and we're getting close to 10 thousand diamonds you guys that's absolutely amazing i cannot wait for the next dust promo i'm not spending any more diamonds until the next dust promo so just looking forward to that i i absolutely cannot wait but guys with that being said if you have enjoyed today's video be sure to go ahead and smash like button and subscribe so guys don't miss any more daily content i will catch you guys in tomorrow's video peace out